Hi, my name is Derek Wheeler, and this is my Dev Mountain Foundations Capstone Project. It is cold and snowy here in Salt Lake City, Utah, so I've built a vacation planning website. Introducing Planet Vacation Planner, a simple place to store all of your travel plans in one location. Let's start off by planning a Hawaiian vacation. We'll go ahead and make our budget first. Let's make a budget of $10,000. When a budget is submitted, it gets added to the database and displayed at the top of the screen. Next, let's add a plan to our trip. Let's add some plane tickets. Round trip. And then our plan will be displayed in the list of plans. Let's go ahead and add a few more plans to our list. All right, perfect. We've got a good list of activities going on for our Hawaiian vacation. Oh, but unfortunately, it looks like we're over budget. So let's find something that we want to cut. How about we cut out this five-star restaurant? We'll delete that and look, our budget updates and everything's okay. The other nice thing with this website is because we're using a database to save the information, we can refresh the page and everything stays the same. But we have our flight information now, so let's go ahead and edit our plane ticket. I will click the edit button, pull up this uh, modal, and our flight leaves at 8 a.m. We'll submit that, and it'll update. Perfect. Planet Vacation Planner is a full-stack web application made using JavaScript and the back-end framework Express. Planet uses a Postgres database to store your budget and list of plans, making them continuously available even when you close the site or refresh the page. I'm most proud of the styling that I used on this website. I use CSS for custom styling, including this custom scroll bar and the custom pop-up modal. I used the HTML5 dialog tag for the pop-up modal, but I added the styling for the modal itself, as well as the blur effect that happens in the background. Planet Vacation Planner is currently hosted online using Amazon Web Services. The project is also publicly available on GitHub. If you'd like to download the files and run them locally on your computer, instructions are available in the README.